In this video, I'm gonna teach you the golden principles of pricing agency services. Unfortunately, too many agencies don't get their pricing right. And as a result, risk biting the dust or running into serious cash flow issues during tough economic times or a recession. These golden principles I'm about to share are not only designed to protect you from those risks, but they will help you break the cycle of rock bottom pricing and high client churn. Virtually all of the top agency partners among the 60,000 agencies we work with use the pricing model that I'm about to reveal and it's helped them build truly repeatable, profitable, scalable, and sustainable businesses that generate millions in predictable annual revenue. So let's dive straight in. So if you're a new agency, you might be wondering, how do other agencies who scale successfully and profitably do it? Well, many rely on a secret weapon. Allow me to introduce you to the 40% rule. The 40% rule isn't just a key profitability principle, it's also a metric that's essential to building a sustainable agency and managing risk in your business. I'm going to break this down step by step, starting with the profitability part. The 40% rule is your profit margin. Now think of this simply as the money you have left over after covering all of your agency's expenses. With this rule, you want to keep at least 40% of every $1,000 of revenue you bring in. The 40% rule is a game changer for AI agencies with recurring revenue models because these agencies tend to offer services like reputation management, social media marketing, and AI chatbots. Because those products address common business challenges, it's predictable to price and they have consistent profit margins baked right in. Plus, the ongoing nature of these solutions creates a reliable revenue stream, reducing risk and making the 40% rule even more powerful. You basically know how much money you're going to spend and earn on these. Now, just a caveat though, that 40% rule is something you need to think about holistically. So for example, it's really hard to sell digital ads at a 40% margin. But if you're selling digital ads within a bundle of different solutions, and that package evens out to 40%, you got it right. But that 40% also needs to account for not just the wholesale cost of buying that software, but all your agency expenses like I mentioned. But why 40%? Because underestimating expenses is a recipe for disaster. So common agency costs like software, insurance, marketing, and even that home office setup can quickly eat into your profitability. So that's why the 40% rule helps you avoid the common trap of rock bottom pricing. You've probably seen it, right? Agencies lowballing themselves or others to attract clients. I've certainly fallen into that trap before. And you know what happens in the long run? You get left with no money in your pocket for the quality of service provided. It's just money in, money out. And then those clients get hooked on your low prices. And then later, when you try and raise the rates to reflect the true costs and value of your services, they get upset because you were so cheap to begin with. The 40% rule is your escape hatch. By building a healthy profit margin from the very start, you have the breathing room to invest in your agency's growth and account for these unexpected and also set expenses. And importantly, of course, make money to live off for yourself. Now, it's not to say you shouldn't provide discounts to win new business, but it needs to be done very carefully. And stay tuned because I'll talk through how later in this video. Now, on the other side of the 40% rule coin is risk management. And that is no more than 40% of your agency's revenue should come from a single source. Think of that as a safety net. If a client disappears, your agency isn't going to crumble. Let's put why this principle is so important into perspective. Imagine your agency brings in $100,000 in revenue annually, which is great, especially if you're new to this space. Now, if one of your clients is an elephant that accounts for say 50% of your revenue and that client cancels their contract, you have literally just lost half your annual cash flow. That's devastating and it could force you to make some harsh knee-jerk decisions like cancelling subscriptions, firing the admin assistant or VA who's been helping you, and that's really going to break your growth momentum. 
So here is a really good tip on how to manage this risk. The first thing I want you to do is conduct a client concentration checkup. So grab your sales data or create a spreadsheet, list out all your clients with their annual revenue contribution, turn this information into a pie chart, and it's a really powerful way to visualize your client base. So this exercise is going to help you identify the elephants. So those clients which are exceeding the 40% threshold, they are your elephants. And it will also help you spot the mice. So you might see a bunch of small clients contributing very little. These are the mice nibbling at the edges, and you might want to ask yourself some questions around how you can get more value from this segment. The other part to managing concentration risk is to take action and diversify your client base. So as agencies, we love our big clients. They pay us well, give us more and more business. Don't stop or shift focus away from any of that. But you do want to diversify and try and get more out of the mice that you have in your client base. So look at options like upselling, cross-selling, and directly increasing prices so that they can account for a greater proportion of your agency's overall revenue pie. And then of course, make sure you're always throwing more coals in the fire in terms of filling up your sales funnel. The more good clients you can get, the more diversified and resilient your revenue base is going to be. That of course begs the question, well, where do I find more clients? And I've filmed a video on the fastest way to generate agency leads over here. And in the coming weeks, we're going to publish a video on how your agency can use an AI lead magnet to drive and convert more website traffic. I'd love you to take a look at that when it's out. So please subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like this video if you're finding the content valuable. Now, I just wanna give you a third piece of advice on how to stick to your 40% margin, and this one really is the easiest. Try to not offer a discount in the first place. And if you really have to make it crystal clear to your lead or customer that it's for a limited time only. Now, let's be honest, clients and prospects, especially in this economy, are going to ask you for discounts. And I personally have a few ways of dealing with it that I'd like to share. So let's say I'm negotiating with a prospect and they really like my proposal for a bundled package of reputation management, social marketing, AI chatbot, and a bit of copywriting, and so on. Before they can even ask for a discount, I send them a proposal along with some case studies and testimonials from my happy clients. And I strategically structure these assets in a way where my clients are justifying for me why my agency is worth the rates that it charges. So I tend to charge a higher than market rate because I've got specialized skills in certain types of writing and I've got a sense of real immediacy that bigger agencies just don't have. And that typically deters prospects from even asking for a discount in the first place. By the way, if you'd like me to create an episode where I walk you through how to create an awesome agency testimonial and case studies, along with providing you free templates, drop a message in the comments below and I'd be happy to publish an episode in the future on exactly that. Now, the other way, like I mentioned, if a prospect or a client is insistent on a discount, make sure they understand it's for a limited time only. So if you're selling a package of marketing services or doing design work for a client or whatever it is, make it clear to them and also put on the invoice, put in your emails that the discount is just for the first month or the first project, etc. That way you prevent them from getting addicted to low rates uh, for too long and get to your 40% margin rate or higher as quickly as possible. Now in the last section of this video, I wanna talk about how important it is to actually balance both your revenue and margin. So the 40% rule is a great starting point. We want an attractive profit margin, but profit margins and revenue shouldn't be seen as rivals or come at the expense of each other. So imagine you're selling an AI chatbot and you're making an 80% margin on it, okay? You're selling it for $100, so you're getting to keep $80 in your pocket. That sounds fantastic, an 80% margin, but at the end of the day, it's only $80 of revenue. It doesn't it doesn't add up to too much. So we wanna think about ways to add more value to our clients. How do we sell them more things that they need? And how do we make existing products and services more valuable so that they want to pay more money for it? And in that regard, I wanna walk you through three service models to consider to help you upsell. The first is the do-it-yourself or DIY option. 
Okay, this is the easiest. You simply take software that's available in the marketplace, you resell it to a customer, and educate them on how to use it. Think of things like automated reputation management. Low revenue, but low effort. The second model is Do It With Me, or DIWM. Here, you resell software and handle some, but not all, of the fulfillment, like managing most of their review responses, scheduling their posts, but not, not, not necessarily making the content. This strikes a happy medium between effort and revenue. And the third model is Do It For Me, or DIFM. This is the high-touch, high-revenue option where you manage most or all of your clients' digital marketing and AI needs, from ad spending to content creation to building automations for them. Let's walk through a practical example of how you can move from one model to the other. So imagine you're charging $1,000 a month right now to a really valuable client. You're selling them a DIY package with reputation management, listings, AI chatbots, and social media tools, and you're making a 50% margin. That's great, and you can see that the client actually isn't using everything you sell them. And here's the opportunity to move up from one service model to the next. Let's say you decide to bump up your price to $1,750 a month by offering to handle the review responses, schedule their social media posts, and update their listings. And to lower the costs, you train a VA or get a part-time assistant to leverage AI features to automate many of those tasks, and your expenses increase slightly to $950 a month. Now, this adds $750 more profit per month, raising your annual revenue from that one client by $9,000, which is a really decent amount. Now, your margin dips slightly, but it's still 45%, so that's a really smart way of increasing your pricing, adding value, while maintaining great margins for just a little extra effort. You make more revenue, and the client's super happy because you're taking care of the work. So that example really highlights how the 40% rule can act as a foundation for your pricing decisions. You can build upon it by offering tiered service models that cater to different client needs and help you maximize your profit potential. So there you have it. We've cracked the code on agency pricing. The 40% rule is your secret weapon to escaping the feast or famine cycle and building a thriving agency. To recap, the 40% rule is designed to help you ensure that you're making a healthy profit margin on every project. It will also help protect you from relying too much on any single client, and it will set a foundation for offering tiered service models that scale with your agency. Remember, discounts are a slippery slope. If you have ways to prevent offering a discount or prove your worth so that clients don't ask for a discount, Try to do that before offering one, and if you have to, make it for a limited time only. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. Please don't forget to like it, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. I'll see you next time.